What's up guys, Sean Pierce Johnson of the Guitar Pedal Expo in Van Nuys, California. I got Kevin here from Electro Harmonics and we're going to be talking about some of the awesome new drive pedals that we're going to be coming out with and you guys have certainly come out with a lot this past year. This last year we kind of went gung ho on everything. Just, just a little bit. F filled out all the gaps that we were missing. Now we've pretty much heard all the talk about the soul food which I think we've had some lengthy conversation off camera by the way but we're going to be looking at some of the pedals you guys brought here to the show with you that are getting a little less talked about. And we're going to start with the, the Lumberjack, which uh, is a pretty interesting overdrive pedal to say the least. Unique is uh, an understatement. It uses an, a logarithmic algorithm to uh, kind of create this, we call it an like oil and water kind of separation of clean and overdrive. So basically, here's my, here's my clean tone right now. people have heard that much tonal wise so what's the deal with this guy it's pretty it's a pretty versatile thing it uh, can get a bunch of different kind of we, we say it's our British style tones so you turn it down we can start at like one of the lower settings and it can just be kind of a standard overdrive and then we'll turn it up and see where it can go from there the mids a little bit and also uh, we'll tighten up the bass, add a little gain. So starting here again. sings a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I'm not sure if it adds compression, but it kind of feels like it. Yeah. Just, it also can run on either, well, it can run into an 18 volt, or 9 volt rather, sorry. Um, but there's a switch inside which has an internal converter which can push it up to 18 volts, add a little bit of headroom, a little, make it a little less compressed at the higher gain settings, so it's a little bit more natural. Very cool, very cool. And one other one I want to talk to you about, and that's the hot tubes, which mm -hmm. I think a lot of vintage freaks out there are going to be real excited about. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? It's uh, an original design from 1970. Uh, basically, it was coming out when solid state amps were starting to get kind of uh, popular. Uh, it was the first pedal to try and simulate an overdriven tube amp, which I find it to be like an American style, like little amp that's getting pushed to the so it can start out, once again, as just kind of like a cleaner boost setting, making it a little bit more spanky, but then it can really get a lot of, 
get a lot of drive out of it.